everyone and welcome to Yesterday Studios. I'm Aris and I like to talk about all kinds of history here in this channel. So welcome. And in honor of the NFL season kicking off this Thursday, I want to talk about a tradition that has been associated with football for decades, which is tailgating. For those of you who don't know, tailgating is this act where many gather outside of a sports stadium where they cook, eat, and socialize. Tailgates are a huge part of American culture and also football culture. T they have been around since the 1800s. However, this did not start off as a football tradition, rather it started in the Civil War. I do want to note that bringing and eating food at a spectacle of combat is not a new idea. The origins of this can be found in gladiator combats back in the Roman Empire. Anyways. I know what you're thinking, this concept of tailgating occurring in the Civil War is really weird. And yes, you are right in thinking that. But many Americans believe that this Civil War would be short-lived and that it would be essentially bloodless. Which is why many made the effort of traveling all the way to see this combat in the first place. Adding on, many Americans would bring food out of necessity because after traveling for hours, they were bound to get hungry. This tradition would start in the first land battle fought on the 21st of July in 1861. The battle has many names like Battle of Manassas, the Battle of Bull Run, or the Picnic Battle, but you could probably guess why it's called that. Many spectators found out where the fighting would occur and would pack up food and travel to these locations. Men, women, and even children came to witness the predicted Union victory, bringing along picnic baskets and opera glasses. Which is like I said, they did this because not only did they want to spectate, but they had a different perspective of what was really about to go down. With tailgating having its roots planted in the Civil War, the idea of bringing food to an event would be translated to the first college football game. Eight years after the war was first started, Princeton vs. Rikers would play and many would come to watch. In the early days of the tailgate concept was simply that, a way to ensure you had enough food on hand for both the journey to and from the game and the contest itself. Like when Americans traveled to the Battle of Bull Run, they traveled to this game and brought food out of necessity. However, from this game forward, specifically the first college football game, tailgating would evolve. New technology and ideas would change the act of necessity to a very social one. That's it for today's video, and I hope you learned something new today. If you did enjoy that little bit of history, consider subscribing and liking this video. And see you all next week with a new video. Au revoir.